Hi everybody, it's Mimi and it's day 27 of the 30 day manifestation program. And today um, we are talking about a vision board. I don't know if any of you have created a vision board before, but it is an incredibly powerful way to not only start to identify specific aspects of what you're trying to create, but also it consolidates it into something that you can look at every day. So again, it's another incredibly powerful tool alongside visualizing, scripting, journaling, um, audio messages, any of those tactics that enable you to create what you want. But the vision board is fantastic in that again, it's particularly if you place it in an area of your home that you see every day. So I'm in my office, for example, um, and my vision board is on the other side of this. You might be able to see it, that little gray thing in the back. That's my vision board. Um, and I'm always adding to it, right? So there's kind of the core things that I'm creating. And then I might um, come across a word or a particular um, thing that might remind me of my vision and therefore I add to it. Um, so it's an incredibly powerful way to visualize the aspects of what you want and just crystallize that because it's something that you can you'll take with you um, every day you know if it's something that you're seeing every single day maybe you put it in your bedroom so it's something that you look at every single day um, I have affirmations in my bedroom for example so that I can see them every day so if it's something that you're gonna see every single day it will start to be an incredibly powerful subliminal force in your life so how to create a vision board it's not rocket science so I for example you can see behind me I've just got basically a um, foam board from a local hardware store you can get them from a craft store it can be a piece of paper it, the, the, the construction of it doesn't matter it's designed to kind of be a creative project and really the power is in the creating of it. There's incredible power once you've created it and you look at it every day, but there's also incredible power in the creation of the vision board because, you know, if you go back to what you've written down about what you're trying to create and the specific aspects of it. So let's use a live example. Let's say you're trying to create a really financially abundant life, right? You want financial abundance. There's a whole range of ways that that can um, translate into reality. That might translate into an incredible house of your dreams in a certain location. That might translate into multiple houses. Um, it might translate into an amazing car. It might translate into an abundant bank account. It might translate into jewelry, uh, clothing, whatever it is, whatever is the thing, you might translate into Lego pieces, who knows? <laughs> depending on what you're passionate about and what gets you excited and and ultimately why you want to be financially abundant. You might want to be financially abundant because you want to set up a charity and you want to cure childhood poverty, for example. That's equally awesome. Um, whatever it is that um, creates the emotion about what you want is what you want to focus on for the vision board. It could be pictures. It could be words. It could be a combination of the two. Um, I can't remember. There was someone that I saw on a particular show that I want to say it's Oprah. Someone that went on the Oprah show that showed their vision board. And there's certainly plenty of conscious creators that have created vision boards. Um, and have kept them and they you know the vision board might have been an amazing house or a car um, I remember um, uh, Rhonda Byrne who wrote The Secret talking about the things that she wanted to create and how she visualized those so you know a vision board is incredibly powerful both in the creation process of the vision board and in what you do with it once you've created it in terms of looking at it every day it's incredibly powerful um, so how do you create a vision board? As I said, you just get some surface that you can paste or pin stuff on. So in my case, I pin stuff. Um, and you can, or you could even um, do it digitally. So there's a number of platforms that you can do this in, or you can just do it in something like Word or PowerPoint. You collect all the pictures that embody what you want to create and or create the emotion of what you're trying to create. So if you're trying to create financial abundance, you can 
have a picture of somebody who is dressed well and living the lifestyle that you want to, that you want to create or um, is you know living the lifestyle that you want to create. Um, and in doing this, it's meant to be fun. It's meant to be creative. It's meant to be emotional in that it creates all kinds of positive emotions in your body. Um, and again, all of those things start to make your body believe, oh, this has happened. I'm financially abundant because look, I'm feeling all of these things connected to how I would feel if I had the lifestyle that I want, if I was financially abundant, if I could buy that house, that car, that whatever, set up that charity, set up that business that I want to create. Um, and the more you repeat it, the more your body starts to believe it and create that electric, electronic, um, energy-based pathway to what you want. I didn't mean electronic. I meant energy-based pathway. Um, yeah, it creates a channel for you to then connect with the energy of what you're trying to create, which as we all know is how we create, right? We have to create through a place of positive emotion, emotion that um, says we believe that we can have what we want, that says we feel we're worthy of it. And so creating a vision board is just a really fun, easy way to help evoke that emotion and help continually evoke that, evoke that emotion over time. Because once you've created the vision board and you place it in an um, area of your home that you see regularly, you can relive that positive emotion over and over and over again until it manifests. Um, so have fun with this. Do it with friends if you like. I've certainly done it with friends before. You know, we get a bunch of magazines and we're cutting things out. Um, and it's interesting to see too, if you do it with friends, it's interesting to see the things that they choose. You know, it just goes to highlight that we all have uh, our own dreams. We all have our own individual journey. We all have different things that we're trying to create and that's okay. That's a positive thing. That's a beautiful thing. Um, but doing it with friends can be fun. It can be even more creative, can be even more stimulating, and it can give you some other ideas of things that you might want to create in your life. So I hope you have fun with it. Um, create your vision board in whatever way is going to be the most productive for you. Make sure that you, if you create it digitally, that you print it out so that you can place it in, in an environment that you see on a regular basis so that you start to, again, Im imprint those visuals and those emotions onto your mind and in your body so that you can create a channel to allow it in. So happy manifesting, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.